The quantiferon TB Gold Plus assay is an in vitro diagnostic test used to identify in vitro responses to peptide antigens ESAT6 and CFP10 that are associated with mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. These proteins are absent from all BCG strains and most non-tuberculosis mycobacteria. Individuals infected with MTB have lymphocytes in their blood that recognize these antigens, resulting in secretion of the cytokine interferon gamma. The detection and measurement of interferon gamma by an enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA, forms the basis of this test. The Quantiferon TB Gold Plus assay uses specialized blood collection tubes coated with a peptide cocktail simulating ESAT6 and CFP10 proteins. Blood collection tubes include a null, TB1, TB2 and mitogen tube for each study participant. Blood is collected directly into the Quantiferon Plus collection tubes or into tubes containing lithium heparin and then transferred into the Quantiferon Plus tube. After each collection tube has been filled with one milliliter of blood, the tubes are mixed to ensure the inner surface is coated with blood to make sure the antigens on the tube walls are dissolved. The manufacturer recommends that blood collection tubes must be incubated upright within 16 hours from collection at 37 degrees Celsius for 16 to 24 hours. However, at SATVI, we incubate blood collection tubes within two hours from collection at 37 degrees Celsius for a period of 16 to 20 hours. After incubation, centrifuge the tubes for 15 minutes at 2000 to 3000 RCF. Plasma can be used directly from the collection tube for the ELISA procedure or removed and stored at 2 to 8 degrees for up to 28 days after which it must be frozen below minus 20 degrees Celsius. An ELISA is performed using the harvested plasma. The optical density, or OD, is read using a spectrophotometer. The Quantiferon Plus analysis software uses the raw data, or ODs, and calculates results. The software generates a standard curve, does an assessment of the assay, and provides a test result for each subject. Go to the Quantiferon website at www.quantiferon.com for a video demonstration of how to collect blood into the specialized Quantiferon blood collection tubes. After blood collection, invert the tubes 10 times, firmly enough to ensure the entire surface of the tube is coated with blood to dissolve the antigens in the tube walls. Incubate the tubes at 37 degrees for 16 to 20 hours. After incubation, centrifuge the tubes at 2000 to 3000 RCF for 15 minutes. The ELISA kit consists of two 96 well plates, a vial of lyophilized interferon gamma standard, a vial of lyophilized conjugate, green diluent, 20 times concentrated wash buffer, enzyme substrate solution, and enzyme stopping solution. Before starting the ELISA, all kit reagents must be brought to room temperature. The kit is removed from the fridge an hour before the start of the assay. The conjugate must be kept in the fridge until use. Reconstitute the standard and conjugate using deionized or distilled water with the volume indicated on the vial. Return the conjugate to the fridge. Leave the standard to equilibrate with the other reagents at room temperature. The ELISA procedure has the following steps. Preparing the working strength conjugate and standard curve dilution series, adding 50 microliters of the working strength conjugate to the wells, adding 50 microliters of plasma to the wells, adding 50 microliters of interferon gamma standard to the wells, incubating the plate at a room temperature for 120 minutes, washing the plate at least eight times with the prepared wash buffer after the incubation, adding 100 microliters enzyme substrate solution to the plate, 
incubating the plate for 30 minutes at room temperature. And finally, adding 50 microliters stop solution to the plate. A spectrophotometer is used to measure the ODs. Prepare the working strength conjugate by diluting the required amount of reconstituted 100 times concentrate conjugate in green diluent. Table 1 summarizes the volume of conjugate and green diluent needed for the amount of strips required to complete the run. Return any unused conjugate 100 times concentrate to 2 to 8 degrees after use. To prepare the standard dilution series, label four tubes, one, two, three, and four. Add 150 microliters green diluent to tube one. Add 210 microliters green diluent to tubes two, three, and four. Add 150 microliters reconstituted interferon gamma standard to tube 1 and mix well. Take 70 microliters of the prepared standard solution from tube 1 and transfer to tube 2, making sure to mix well. Take 70 microliters standard solution from tube 2 and transfer to tube 3, making sure to mix well. Tube 4 serves as the zero standard containing green diluent only. Add 50 microliters of the working strength conjugate to each well. Add 50 microliters of the test plasma to the assigned wells on the plate. Add 50 microliters standard to wells assigned to the standards.
Cover the plate with a lid and mix on the plate shaker for 1 minute at waveform 20 and amplitude 6, taking care to avoid splashing. Incubate the plate at room temperature for 120 minutes. The plate must not be exposed to direct sunlight during incubation. While incubating, prepare the working strength wash buffer by adding 50 milliliters of 20 times concentrate wash buffer to 950 milliliters deionized or distilled water and mix gently. After incubation, wash the plate with the prepared wash buffer at least 8 times, making sure to fill each well with the wash buffer for each wash and allow to soak for 5 seconds before the next wash. Tap the plates face down on absorbent towel to remove any residual liquid before proceeding with the next step. Add 100 microliters of the enzyme substrate solution to each well. Cover the plate with the lid and mix on the plate shaker using the same settings as used for the first shake. Incubate the plate at room temperature for 30 minutes. The plate must not be exposed to direct sunlight during incubation. During this incubation, start up the spectrophotometer and open the instrument software. Select the following settings. The number of strips to read, Select the wavelengths 450 nanometers and 650 nanometers and select to have the subtracted values displayed. Add 50 microliters of the stop solution to each well and mix briefly on the plate shaker. Remove the plate lid and place the plate into the spectrophotometer. Read the ODs. Copy the plate ODs into a new Excel document and save. Open the Quantiferon TB Plus software. 
Enter the date, run number, kit batch number and operator's name. Select manual format. Assign the standards vertically to the corresponding position on the plate layout. Select subject samples. Enter the first sample ID and select the corresponding wells on the plate layout. Repeat this process until all samples are assigned to their positions. Copy the ODs from the Excel file. Select the Paste Raw Data tab. This will paste the ODs into the corresponding positions selected on the plate. Select Calculate. The result sheet will be displayed on the screen. Select the Print tab to print the results. This can also be saved as a PDF. To export results, close the print window and select Results Export. Then select Quantifiant Plus. Under Export Type, select Export to Clipboard File. Paste the results into the Excel spreadsheet containing the ODs. All results must be checked by a supervisor before release. Please refer to the package insert and SOP provided for more information regarding the interpretation of results, limitations of the procedure, and troubleshooting. For any quantified on related queries, please email our laboratory manager, Dr. Nicole Bullock, our quality assurance officer, Yulandi Kluti, or our senior technologist, Asma Tofi, at the email addresses displayed on the screen.